are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, we have some massive sports media drama going on with uh, Stephen A. Smith. Now, this all goes back to uh, Stephen A. and uh, Matt Kellerman on first take. Stephen A. has made no bones about it that he wanted Matt Kellerman gone from first take. He felt that um, their relationship had ran its course. And of course, you guys know that uh, Stephen A. was really trying to get Skip Bayless to come back to ESPN. And ESPN had an agreement with Skip Bayless that him and Stephen A. would actually have a show, I believe, on ESPN Plus, And he could actually remain at Fox Sports. It did not happen, but it was clear. Stephen A. did not want Max Kellerman around anymore. And eventually he got his way because Max Kellerman got kicked off of uh, first take. And he ended up with his own afternoon show that nobody actually knew about, really. And then, of course, Max Kellerman was a casualty over there at ESPN. He was actually let go doing all of the layoffs and firings that actually happened. And Stephen A. has said, still, yeah, I wanted him gone. Now we got some real, real controversy here because Marcellus Wally, who apparently is really good friends with uh, Max Kellerman, I didn't even know that, has come out and he was uh, critical of Stephen A. Smith, I believe, like last month. Stephen A. Smith has addressed that. He actually appeared on the uh, the Breakfast Club with on Charlemagne and Jason Whitlock now is mixed up in all of this. And guys, this thing is getting ugly because it looks like uh, Jason Whitlock is about to unload on Stephen A. Smith because Stephen A. Smith called out Jason Whitlock, not by name, but everyone knew that Stephen A. Smith was talking about Whitlock because he called him a fat bastard. And that he didn't have any respect for him whatsoever. This thing is ugly. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, right here. Actually, let's go over here first. On the Daily Mail here. Stephen A. Smith appears to call Jason Whitlock a fat bastard. Who I despise to the core. And compares the podcaster who is a Christian to the devil in astonishing outbursts here. Now, this is where they talk about uh, Marcellus Wally, because he actually used to work with them um, with um, Stephen A and Jason Whitlock. I believe actually on ESPN, by the way. And. He actually called Stephen A a hypocrite and accused Stephen A of um, pushing um, uh, Max Kellerman out over there, maybe even himself. I Right here, they're implying that that. um. They're talking about Stephen A getting rid of Marcellus Wally. No, it was really it was really um, Max Kellerman who they're talking about right here. So back over here, this is what um, Stephen A actually said on Charlemagne's um, uh, Breakfast Club here. Listen in. Some weeks ago, uh, something you said, which you said several times, you wrote about it in your book. You talked about, you know, your experience with Max Kellerman working mm-hmm. on the show. Mm-hmm. And I saw a reaction from uh, Marcellus Wiley, and he mm-hmm. said, you got rid of Max Kellerman because Max wasn't dumb and white. Okay. Well, let me say this. I'm not talking about, I'm going to address that last part. Mm-hmm. The first part, I'm not addressing it anymore, and here's the reason why. Some people want to do anything for clicks. Y'all don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. We're established. But others have to do that. And so when you see that's the tsunami of comments and all of this other stuff, even my bosses called me. It was like, yo, man, it's in your book. Enough's enough. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, they're right. I had nothing to say about it anymore. The ratings speak for itself. The decisions that were made speak for itself. It is what it is. Business is business, period. In terms of what Marcellus Wiley said, now that I will direct. I will address directly. And I only have one thing to say. He and I work together. Um, got a lot of respect for him. I know the man he was talking about that was his best friend. I get all of that. No problem. Here's my only issue. For a black man to sit up there and say another black man is scared of somebody's intellect. Come on, bro. That's just the line you crossing. 
Yeah. So he's saying that um, that Marcellus Wally crossed the line. Now, back over here, this is where it's getting ugly because Stephen A. Smith goes off on on Jason Whitlock here. Now, this is a clip from his um, podcast, and he said that other other people want him to talk about other people as well. He does not name. He does not name Jason Whitlock, but everyone knew who Stephen A. was actually talking about. So listen in to this. Now, there's a lot of people out there that want me to address other names. There's one particular person who will remain nameless. And I will not deny it. I think he's a fat, no good bastard who I despise to the core. That is not Marcellus Wiley I'm talking about. It ain't hard to figure out who the hell I'm talking about. I'm where I'm at. That particular individual is where he's at. And I'll leave it at that. And no, I'm not talking about Marcellus Wiley again. No, I'm not talking about my former colleague on first take. No, I'm not talking about them. They ain't fat bastards. Who's, who's, who, who are seeds of the devil. Wishing nothing but black folks on. But I'll leave that for another day for when the time is right. Now, I don't believe Jason Whitlock is wishing black folks harm. Jason Whitlock is a Christian conservative, whereas Stephen A is definitely more on the left and they definitely disagree politically. There's no doubt about it. So now Jason Whitlock apparently is about to unload on Stephen A. Smith on his show today. He uh, put this out on X. Give me a follow on X, by the way, at Real John Matrix, by the way. Help me get over 1000 followers, folks. Almost in 900, I believe. But this is what he put out. Today's show is going to be lit. And he's actually um has like a meme here of. um Of Jason Whitlock as um fat bastard and Stephen A. Smith as mini me from Austin Powers. So I cannot wait to see. What's going to happen on Fearless with Jason Whitlock tonight, because I'm pretty sure. Jason Whitlock is going to unload on Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A., like I said, didn't have to say his name. Everyone knew exactly who Stephen A. Smith was talking about. And and Whitlock has been critical of Stephen A. Stephen A. does love to play the race card, even in that Charlemagne clip. He was bringing up as a black man. He always says that we get it. Stephen A, you're black. We get it. I'm black, too, but I don't have to remind people that I'm black. All you got to do is look at me. OK, but anyway, that is the way Stephen A. Smith is. He's going to let you know that he's black. And when uh, Shannon Sharp came on first take. Stephen A. Smith said that he wanted Shannon Sharp because he wanted Shannon Sharp to feel like he was actually wanted. And for the longest time, man. Him and um, Shannon were actually talking about Skip Bayless all the time. And then Jason Whitlock came out and said, man, if you guys don't stop this, I'm going to start exposing some stuff, mainly to do with uh, Shannon Sharp. Now, he hadn't come out and explained that. But my take was, is that he knew some stuff about Shannon Sharp over there at CBS where he was let go. And. He's probably going to expose that dirty laundry if they don't stop talking about Skip Bayless. So this whole thing has gotten really ugly. So I'm pretty sure, man, tonight, Jason Whitlock, when his um, Fearless episode releases, I'm pretty sure he's going to go off on Stephen A. Smith. And there's no doubt about it, I believe. Stephen A. Smith will more than likely address Jason Whitlock by name this time. On his show. This thing is getting ugly. Black and white sports fans. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. 
and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.